Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel once again here, this is Mac. And for today's gameplay commentary video, it is, once again, the whole continuation of Terminator Resistance. And we're heading into a new mission. Let's go ahead and proceed onward. So, once again, Commander Baron wants me to find the team of messengers that gave the order that sabotaged our defense systems. They are equipped with GPS trackers and it seems they're keeping a, a lookout near the warehouse district area. So again, it's gonna be kinda like, it's already gonna be like familiar ground. It's gonna be the, kinda like the familiar area that uh, I know Jacob has been there before. So we're taking him back there again uh, to do like a separate kind of a mission. And this is the same type of level that was, I believe, that was in on the whole level of uh, Rules of Survival. Now it's going to be the whole mission called uh, uh, Open Season, I believe. Or, no, sorry, Hunting Season. Hunting Season, that's what it is. Alright, let's go ahead and kick this off. Okay, so we already know about this. Okay, I'm seeing two GPS trackers. Who should be our guys? And you should see uh, an HK aerial coming up. Right there, see? Now I already have a laser guided type of uh, type of rocket launcher that can take that out, but uh, I don't I don't feel as though I have the strong necessity type of need to go ahead and take it out anyways unless I engage that thing first it's probably not going to engage me right away considering the fact I'm gonna be going in in stealth uh, throughout the entire mission anyway so I feel I feel as though I don't think there's gonna be a necessarily uh, like, a, like a huge necessity for me to do so unless I do absolutely need to do that okay so just to very, very quickly recap on something here, according to the last video, which is the last mission, which was members of... Here, I was going to back up away here just a little bit here. Okay. I probably have nothing to worry about, but I figured, well, just in case. So, according to the last mission here, which, which, which I had produced, which was titled as Members of the Resistance. So, in relation to that type of mission... This was the whole mission brief. This was whole, the whole details in the mission briefing, which was get, which was given by Commander Jessica Barron, a pretty much a techcom soldier slash officer, and one of the members of the Human Resistance. She gives a briefing, a detailed briefing, and a mission to now Sergeant Jacob Rivers, which was this. You wanted to see me. You're finally here. Good. I have a special task for you. I want you to head downtown to check on the doctor. Doctor? Alvin. He's out there making sure that our defense systems are working properly. Ever since we went radio silent, I had a small team of trustworthy messengers maintaining communication between our outposts. They haven't returned. So I want you to go downtown and see why that happened. Could be nothing. But Connor doesn't want any hiccups while he's up there in North Division preparing the attack on Skynet's central core. Is there a problem with the radio? The Annihilation Line is within spitting distance of downtown. We suspect that Skynet will be intercepting all transmissions from that location. So for now, we're going radio silent. That's why I need you to go there personally. Central Core? Skynet's main reactor, the source of all their power. We shut down the central core, we shut down Skynet. Connor's preparing the attack as we speak. So you understand we can't have any critical complications at this stage. Okay, so after those two had their little briefing together and Jacob here ends up receiving his mission by Commander Baron prior, okay, prior 
to just stepping out of that whole human resistance kind of a underground little fortress and engaging uh, Skynet's troops. Uh, Jacob, uh, you know, very briefly encounters a wounded, a wounded resistance soldier and picks up this little vital type of information from him. What's happening, Private? A couple of aerials flew in and dropped containers full of metals. They started shooting while our defense systems did nothing. What about the doctor? Where's Alvin? He's still out there. All right. There's one more thing. Before I got hit and dragged here, I saw something. I'm not sure, but I think it was one of our own soldiers that led Skynet's attack. So directly after getting that type of uh, little vital piece of information from that wounded resistance soldier, Jacob goes out and along with his uh, like along with his men, with with some of the uh, you know resistance type of soldiers to go into the battlefield and and pretty much engage Skynet's you know metal troops head on to take them all down in order to reach uh, that doctor you know laboratory scientist Elvin Guy. Just see what was going wrong with the whole uh, defense type of systems, and finally, re finally reaches him, and in order to pretty much get the whole explanation as to okay, what the hell went wrong, and this is pretty much what Alvin mentions. Alvin, oh my God, I'm actually glad to see you. What happened here? Why are the defense systems not working? They are working, but their target filtering has been reset to non-hostile. One of Baron's messengers came with the order to temporarily change it, so I did! Baron's messengers. We need to leave now. Yes, let's do that. I'm all for that. Are you alright? We need to move. You don't have to tell me twice. Escort secured. After Jacob finally grabs Elvin and in a huge type of rush, especially uh, under fire, pretty much gets him back to the shelter. That's when Jacob delivers his report to Commander Baron. I know, it, the whole details of, of what Elvin had said was really confusing, but you know, obviously still gives that, still gives off the whole type of detailed uh, report back to Jessica Baron. And well, obviously this is the whole result of pretty much what he had delivered to her and a new mission pops up Rivers you want to explain to me what the hell happened we lost downtown I know that much but how's that possible what happened to our defense systems Alvin says one of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non-lethals he said what oh, all right this is what I want you to do. Find whoever is responsible for sending that order. All the messengers have GPS tracking, so we're keeping tabs on their location. Find them and bring them to me. Understood. And Rivers, despite what I might say about our resident egghead, I truly have a hard time believing that my men are incompetent. So expect the unexpected. And you know what I mean by that. Do you think the infiltrator's back? We won't be sure until you find those messengers and confirm my suspicion. Now that you mention it... What? One of our soldiers said that it looked as if one of our guys led Skynet's attack. That only supports my case. As soon as you know what's going on, radio me. You want me to break radio silence? They have a head start on us. At this point, we can't afford to lose any time. Yep. After... Jacob delivers that kind of confusing report that apparently the whole order came from her and as somehow some of these members of the resistance led Skynet towards that, that type of opened attack. That's when Jessica Barron gives Jacob a new mission, new orders, which leads him to back here. I'm just going to stand for a second here. Back here for Jacob to find you know the two types of resistant type of uh, soldiers which pretty much like uh, apparently is responsible for giving out type of false information 
and that's where you, that's where you would see at the top left hand of the screen where it says signal strength that's where Jacob is going in order to try and locate these type of soldiers to find out who led like who gave out the type of false information to Skynet and and why lead them there and what's going on which is why once again which is why Jacob is is here on this level here and what brought him and, and pretty much what brought all that to uh, pretty much what what may what caused Jacob to lead him to here so here we go Uh, just being cautious is the case. More Man. plasma containers. Looks like Skynet's here for good. Uh huh. They managed to replenish. Skynet manages to uh, replenish its troops, metal troops, back here again. Speaking of metal troops, <laughs> okay. And uh, no, I didn't think there was anything there. So. Okay, so on this mission here, there is going to be roughly about, I think, okay, keep in mind, I'm not, I'm not saying this is the exact total or the exact type of accuracy, but a uh, huge guess, I'm thinking there's about roughly, roughly give or take about, I'm thinking, uh, maybe two or three side missions on here, I'm not entirely too sure, and I think there's going to be like, about one or two main missions. The main mission is the whole hunting season, which you see, which you see on the screen, which is at the uh, at the top right, that's underneath the the map. Hunting season, find missing soldiers, and yes, you're gonna be finding that radio. And trust me, that radio is gonna come in handy because you will inevitably need it. It's an option to get it, but I would, for a, for a bit of a nicer type of happy ending, I would I would get it. Oh, and look what I passed by. Okay, here we go. Flamethrower? If I could get close enough to take a picture. See? Another type of side mission. Hold on. Just wait. And... well planned there we go um, no I don't know if it hiding here would be a good idea Okay, good. The thing is, like, I spotted these type of uh, flamethrower type of Terminator machines. Um, uh, I think it was in Pasadena or something like that. Yeah, it was. No, I, it was either in Pasadena. Yeah, it was in Pasadena. Sorry. Either in Pasadena, 
like uh, the whole mission saying back to Pasadena or like in the whole part of members of the resistance and my first thought was why is that side mission coming up only now I could have done that in the in the earlier missions it's like that doesn't make any sense Okay, so I gotta be careful here. Hopefully I'm not gonna be hunted down in two seconds or some ridiculous damn thing. Oh. I got a better idea. How about you just stay down? that one terminator machine with a flame f with a whole flamethrower type of deal See if I can do this. I'm gonna try focus. Excellent. Yes, California plates. Kind of following me in. Hope that machine goes back to its uh, regular type of uh, route so I can take it out with uh, that plasma type of container. Then again, I probably won't need to do that because it's got the tank. At the yeah, it's got the tank at the back of it, so technically I won't really need to do that. There we go. Oh, by the way, this is probably going to be just a little bit lame for me to say something like this, but uh, all the same, you know. Happy New Year to everyone. So yes, Happy New Year to one uh, to you one and all. Yeah, I know that kind of sounded a little lame for me to say something like that, but uh, the only thing I can say about that is, um, last year was not was not all that a huge great of a year. Because, considering the fact that the whole coronavirus slash COVID had pretty much dominated the whole type of 2020 year, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's going to be kind of a bit of an iffy to say, you know, if 2021 is going to be any different. So I'm kind of a little iffy, I'm kind of rather feeling a little iffy about that. 
So it's going to be along the lines of saying, well, eh, we'll see. I know that's kind of lousy for me for me to say something like that, but at the same at the same time, it's like, eh, I don't want to get my hopes up way too much. Because I know that a lot of people have some huge type of expectations for the next year and the year after that and year after that and so on. But at the same time, it's kind of like, we will see what happens. Alright. Excellent. Any and any upcoming type of uh, you know T eight hundreds or aerial droids that will come uh, come on by, this plasma turret will take it out for me. My point. It was probably moving too fast for it. It's like, damn it. <laughs> oh, by the way, have any of you seen this before by some chance? I'm pretty sure a lot of people who have played this game would have seen this plenty of times. This comical little glitch where a T-800, or in this case a T-825, is swirling, swirling, swirling around to no end. That's not very intimidating. In fact, if anything, it's pretty comical as hell. Oh god, I'm sorry, I had a laugh. Really, I had to. Okay, I don't know if those drones are coming back. I'm pretty sure they will. Every single one, every single type of those machines have a, a specific type of route that they go about. So, like I mentioned before, I don't know what 2021 will bring, as in for like this year, 2021 will bring. I don't know. But at the same time, it's kind of like I'm not really expecting anything. God, this is funny. I'm sorry, but this is... Concealing myself all that greatly well, so I must go ahead and just. Excellent. Let's just have a look. Well, I'm not gonna lie, my health is not too, too bad. Well, like I mentioned before, considering that this whole coronavirus, you know, COVID-19 BS pr practically 
over dominated this entire world of ours unfortunately especially with the media pretty much promoting all that nonsense about it and unfortunately yes um, the media can give out false news they can do that it's it's within their ability and the power to do that I don't think that you know 2020 was all that without all that great of a year in fact if anything especially with the whole restrictions and so on it just made it just made our year that much quite ridiculous and just depressing and so on so it wasn't I don't think it was that much of a great year for me. All, I'm gonna, all I'm gonna say in relation to that is with now with with this new year that has been rung in and with the, with a with a fresh new year that we're in right now with the whole now that we're in 2021 all I'm gonna say is we'll see what happens anywho Okay, so time for me to get down here. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, just gonna close that door just for a brief moment. I might as well crack it open because I'm gonna have to get out right away. Excellent. And now just wait until this machine here gets taken out. upper hands. And there's an HK right there. If I stayed here, I wonder if it will spot me. Not bad, not bad. But I'm not going to continuously test that theory. Take it out. It's not like I can't.
damn it. Excellent. So when that terminal comes back, which I know inevitably will, that upgrade type of plasma turret will take care of it for me. Like I said, Always do enjoy the part when a plan comes together. following right away or anything. So that's been done. Now, I don't know if there has been any type of uh, changes around this upper shelter or not. I'm going to probably guess not. And again, at the same time, it's like, who, who is to say for sure? Sometimes I do it that way too. It's like, I might as just go ahead and do this.
And since I have more than a knife, uh, sorry, more than enough type of uh, pipe grenades, I can go ahead and free willingly just do this. It still gives me points. Uh, I think I'll be okay for now. I was just, I was just checking out my health. Trying to do some recollecting as to what I had done over here so far. Fell for that one. Okay. gonna try and draw that damn thing to me but whatever it works it still worked it's destroyed and Ryan's new radio is in this building right here but I'm not gonna get to it just quite like automatically yet per se Try this again here. I know I'm probably gonna get receive some damage from it, but you know, I'll, it's a 65% chance, so it's uh, you know, it's better than a 50-50 kind of a shot. But we'll see. God, I figured that was gonna happen. That kind of hacking looks way too freaking complicated. My first thought was, no, I'm not even bothered with that. I'm just going to try and f force it on through if I can. Okay, uh, I'm just checking something out here very briefly. Like, okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, I thought I, was, I, thought I saw some kind of uh, uh, lock icon somewhere. Like, oh, maybe I should go, go grab the... Ah, no, I guess I'm good.
and I can stand right in front of this damn thing and it will not at all t take any shots at me. Yes, it is that nice. Anywho. Oh yeah. Um Well That armor spider machine is pretty far away, so I guess I shouldn't have too much issues of be concerned about that coming over here. That's interesting. Well, I'll, I'll make I'll make a little comment about that a little later or something. Seems to be coming from here. It is. Upstairs. It is upstairs, but we'll get to that in a minute here. Let's just go ahead and bash, uh, bash all this up here. Because uh, there are a few T-800s up here. Who left this here? It's probably a trap. And you'd be right, Jacob, it is. And there's a T-800 coming this way. As it is programmed to ignore me or something. Ah, uh, whatever. Are you not gonna come down or what? Really, are you that programmed to be that dumb? Oh, good boy. something in that in that you know metal skull of yours let's see here I swear this machine is too funny. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna have to just take it out this way. seen <laughs> I've never seen a Terminator machine like this twitch, twitch like that <laughs> oh my god I'm sorry I, I, I should just get going here this, the, I, that was, oh god that was just too hilarious that's just too, oh god <sighs> jeez 
Is that okay? Is that thing still there? No, it's not. Okay, I'm sorry. I uh, that was uh, for an for a, an intimidating type of war raging machine. That Terminator just made my just made my day. I swear. Oh god, that was just too funny. Oh god. Okay. Okay, back on point here. And yes, Ryan's little so-called boombox. One second here, just going to... Better be worth it, Ryan. Yeah, I know, I could have just picked it up, like, right there and then, but the only reason why I was angling the camera like that was because, uh, I fear, just in case, if I'm gonna be, you know, using it as, a, like, a, as, like, as, like, a thumbnail later on after I'm done producing this video. Anyway. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. Oh, and by the way, yes, that radio will be will be useful and important. I know that Jacob had said like uh, this better uh, this better be wor worth it for you, Ryan, or something like that. And my first thought was, hey, yeah, it will be it will be worth it for you. It is, y y let's say, uh, you're gonna need it. Well, I suppose I didn't technically have to do that, but whatever, it's been done. And plus, I got a little, uh, little bit of some points out of it, too. Oh, God, I swear that Terminator just made my, just made my day. Oh, God, that, that was just too, that was just too hilarious as hell. Okay, now, I don't really know if I will be encountering, um, that, uh, that T-800 infiltrator machine on this level or not. It's really hard to say. I'm trying to recall if I, if I did last time or not, so I'm not sure. But this part here caved in, so I can't go in there. So there is already a plasma turret installed over. Oh no! Never mind. Excellent. Successfully decommissioned. Yep, it's beeping off.
Yeah, I know where it is. Come from that guy right there. point but we haven't had any contact with Commander Baron we would uh, why would she send us here this day is getting weirder and weirder with zero radio communication this place is getting lonely hot damn it Gomer how long does it take for you to piss is that supposed to be, that supposed to be some kind of a clue or something listening. Time to look for the second tracker. Again, might choose that for a thumbnail. And I'll just have to for now cut the video here and just end it here for now. Until I get the, until I get the, like the, the second half of the whole part of uh, uh, hunting season up and going here. So, anyways, everyone, thank you very much for tuning into my channel once again. Here, this is Mac. So, by all means, please and thank you very much. Hit that subscribe button, like button, notification, and if you have any comments or questions in relation to this, go ahead and throw it in the comment section. And for those who have already subscribed to my channel, thank you very kindly. It's almost of a great support. It really does help out, help out quite a bit. And keep that support up, and see you on the next round.